Okay, looking for an idea for a math assessment that can grade multiple questions at the same time, but still requires students to do the work. So let's build an assessment and we'll say math multiplication. Okay, and I'm just not gonna fill out anything here except for I'm gonna enable submissions just so I can check it. And for setup, I like to say, um, please do your best, read directions. Now, I like to make this bold, change the color, center it, and then I also like to enlarge it. And the reason it, the directions kind of stand out a little bit, I also like to add, I have a little um, video message. And so I'm going to insert media and I'm going to go to uh, YouTube. And just grab this video. It's just something that you can do that's a little bit fun for your students. Uh, you can give them a little message before they take the test. So it can be a completely personalized to that test. This is just my general uh, good luck. Okay, now notice it's a little on the large side. Okay, so I'm gonna delete this extra space. And then if I click on it, I can resize this uh, just to make it a little smaller, which that looks better. All right, so I'm not gonna time limit. I usually don't, I usually do random order. Yes, I choose yes for all these. Uh, yes, I'm, now if you don't want them to have access to a calculator for this math, then say no, okay? and uh, I allow them to access these things, okay? I usually allow them to see it, but not the right answers, decide how many times, click save. Okay, now here's the real thing that I wanted to show you is building one actual question. So we're going to build a label image question. I have um, gotten ready a, um, an image right here, okay? So I'm gonna build a label image question. Okay, and we'll just refresh this page. Let me go back here. And that's one of the fun things about Schoology. Sometimes you gotta go in again. See, there we go. Okay, so solve each math problem. Drag the numbers to the correct place for each answer. Okay, again, I like to bold, change the color um, and the size. Okay, so here's the color. Uh, we'll make this one purple and uh, we'll make the size maybe around 16 or 18, just to make it stand out a little more. Okay, now here's where I wanna upload the image. But first what I need to do is take my snipping tool <clears throat> All right, and once this opens, okay, I'm going to have a new snip and it's going to gray out the whole screen. And what I'm going to do is select this section right here. And I am going to save this, right? In my pictures, I have a right here. All right, so we'll say math props. All right, so back to my question. Upload image. Here we go. I'm just going to drag this over a little bit. Here we go. Here's my math probs. I'm going to click and hold on it, drag it over. Beautiful. There we go. Awesome. Scroll down, click OK. OK, now we have our image. Perfect. Now I need to add response boxes. And you can see this is too big. I don't want to give them the whole answer. I want them to choose each number individually. So let's go down to setup options and let's try 15 for width and see what that looks like. All right, maybe a little bigger. Let's try 20. Okay, that looks like it should work. All right, so now we're going to go back up here and we're going to put this here. Add a response box and this number here. Okay, add a response box. 
here. Okay, I'm just going to pause it as I add the response boxes. Okay, I'm just adding in the last response box. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to scroll down. Possible responses. I want... I just click to add them all. What I want is zero, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, and eight as my possible answers. Now I'm gonna do the correct answers. I'm gonna click a partial match and duplicate responses. Duplicate responses means these digits are going to be an option for every single answer. Okay, so this answer would be oops, I need to go back up here and add this response box. And this one, <laughs> and this one, okay. And this would be one. Okay, now see all my options are still available. So this needs a one, five, one. Okay, pause as I fill out the rest of, um, the answers. All right, here you can see I made a mistake in my key right here. So I dragged the wrong number by mistake. So what I want to do, just drag up the right one and fix it. Easy peasy to fix a mistake. Okay. And then I am going to click save. Okay, and then what I'm going to do here is change the point value, however you want to adjust it for problems. Let's say they're two points each, and we'll just make it eight points. <clears throat> um, see, if we wanted to be accurate, we could be 11 because that's how many blanks there are. Okay, and when I click preview, you're going to see this from the student end. So do your best, read the directions. Remember, here's that video message I left for them. When they click start new attempt, And sometimes you get this, so let's try just refreshing. Okay, and go back to preview. Start new attempt. And let's try one more time. This is the joy of Schoology sometimes. I always tell my students to not be intimidated. See, there you go. Sometimes it's refresh, sometimes a double refresh. And here we go. Students are just going to simply drag up. Okay. Notice over here, calculator is not an option because I did not give them that choice. Okay. In the question, you could if you wanted. They're going to drag their answers up for each one, and then they're going to go to the um, end and they'll review and submit. And there you have it how to use label image to create multiplication. And uh, you could do it for any math problems, but really quickly, okay? Uh, let me just show you one tip before I end, is if you had this problem already done, you can um, copy it, okay? So I could drag a new one up here, okay? But here, copy. When I duplicate this, when I go in, it will have all of the response boxes already done, and you can simply swap out the image, the boxes will stay, and you change the answers. Super easy then to do an, a you know, three or six or however many math problems at a time and make your test or quiz really quickly.